Good morning, everybody. It's me again. We're, we're at it again, Friday morning. One more day and we get to go home. So it's gonna be a full day today. We're gonna be doing a lot of driving. I find myself in Deep River Falls, Minnesota, United States of America right now. I love being down here. We're gonna rush back on up to Canada, drop this load off that I have behind me, grab an empty trailer, or unless I can unload this trailer right away, take the same one back down. Then we're gonna switch that for another loaded trailer. We're gonna bring that back to Canada, drop it, take my equipment off, and go home. It's about three hours back and about two and a half hours down or so, because you can cross through different border crossings when you're empty as or when you're loaded. So about a five hour round trip plus taking this, 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 this that, and this. It's three hours back, three hours down, six, seven, eight, nine. I got about nine to 10 hours of work ahead of me today, so there's no time to sit around and talk. It'll mostly just be road footage here. We're gonna be uh, cruising across uh, Minnesota most of the day. Come on and join me. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn 
turning left. Down this, uh, I know I'm turning left. I gotta stop at the stop sign first. It's not smart to run a stop sign on government federal property with five dozen cameras all over the place. There's a trucker Josh tip for you. For 300 meters, turn right on Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. For 200 meters, turn right on Lord Selkirk Highway. Highway 75. Left on 
I just had another embarrassing moment in a truck stop. We're here in Thief River Falls. We have our new trailer behind us and I stopped in here to grab a coffee and some chicken. Delicious and juicy. Mm. What I was doing, I got a coffee, I got this, and then I wanted to go grab like a little carton of milk. Ugh, I apologize for talking with my mouth full. It's that good. So I wanted to grab the other carton of milk, but I only got two hands, right? That's a problem. I had three things, two hands. So I put the chicken on top of my coffee and it fits perfect. I was like, ha ha, I'm a genius. I go in there, I grab my milk. I start walking to the till and I bump a shelf with my arm and the chicken falls off and goes everywhere, all over the floor, right in front of everybody. Oh, I felt so dumb. They laughed it off. I laughed it off awkwardly. And they gave me a fresh one and new one. And they took those ones and, uh, and threw them out. They gave me another one, which they didn't have to do. They could have made me pay for that one and this one, but they didn't. And I really appreciate that. So thumbs up to the staff here at, uh, what is this? The hangar? Not, not the hangar. What is this called again? Northland, right? It's the truck stop right in Thief River Falls. It's the only one. It's on the 59 on the north side of town. Thanks for, uh, for replacing my chicken, which I so idiotically dumped all over your floor. I cleaned it up though. I cleaned it up this time. This time I didn't, I didn't let them clean it up. It's my mess. I cleaned it up. Chicken everywhere. It was a chicken disaster. A chicken daster. But they're so good. All right, with that behind us, let's get out of here. How do I end up embarrassing myself like that? I always try to carry more than I should, you know? Always. I don't need a bag. Bags are for sissies. I can carry it all. No, you can't, Josh. No, you can't. You're gonna make a fool of yourself, dump everything everywhere. Right in front of everybody. I'm glad they had a sense of humor about it. They just laughed it off, but still. I'm sure they'll take it home and somebody's dog will get extra special treats tonight. Maybe I should have just taken it home. That's what I should have done. You know, I should have just, I didn't know what to do in the moment. I was like, oh, oh, oh. And they're like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, just go grab another one. And I was so humiliated that I just went and grabbed another one and hung my head and just went straight to the till and just paid and left and said, thank you so much. I could have just kept it for the dogs. Ah, well. Ah, well. Not thinking clearly in those moments. Maybe they have dogs at home they can give to their dogs. Rule number one, you don't eat floor food. You don't eat food off the floor. All kinds of bacteria and everything on the floor. You don't want to risk that. But dogs, dogs are different. They have like stronger stomachs, you know? A dog can eat anything. A dog can eat raw meat and be just fine. A human eats raw meat and suddenly we're like, deathly ill. Depending on what kind of meat it is. On this road for 82 kilometers. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Drop this trailer off at our yard and then go home. Crawl into bed. We'll shower and then crawl into bed. It's going to be later than I thought. I just saw a black bear cross the road right before this bridge. He went from the right to the left disappeared into the long grass there somewhere.
one more week from when I'm filming this. So when you're watching this video, it is summer solstice, the longest daylight hour day of the year. One of my favorite days of the year. After that, it starts getting shorter again. Got rid of that trailer and I've got my next load here that I'm taking out of here on Monday. All ready to go. Someone got it all ready to go for me. I'm gonna have to redo it though, because as you can see, <laughs> these straps are over the rub rail. They should be going through the rub rail. So I appreciate whoever picked this up for me. I really do, but uh, I'll just quickly fix that on Monday before I leave. Not a big deal. We're taking this to Humboldt, Saskatchewan. If that sounds familiar to you, because uh, it's a, an infamous town in Canada. Humboldt is the town where the Humboldt Broncos are from, and that is that uh, fatal bus crash that happened several years ago now already. Uh, so we're going to that town. Maybe we'll be able to stop by the memorial they have on the side of the highway there. And we can talk more about it then when we get there. But there was a devastating fatal crash where there was a truck that ran a stop sign, crashed into a bus uh, that was transporting a minor hockey team uh, to a game or back home. Uh, all young hockey players, young kids, Canadians from Saskatchewan, and uh, lots of them died right there. It was uh, very bad. So every Canadian knows Humboldt, Saskatchewan, and that's where we're bringing these pipes to. So I'm going to try to make a point of it to stop by the little memorial there and uh, I can show you uh, what they got there for them and we can talk a little bit more about it then. But for now, I'm just checking to make sure everything's all good. So I really appreciate whoever got this uh, tied down for me. Um, it won't take me too long. I wonder if the other side has got the straps over the rub rail too. Just going. It happens. Not upset about it, but oh yeah, every single one. See this down here? So for future reference guys, uh, when you do tie down these loads, these straps must be inside the rub rail. Because what this does is this protects my straps if I get sideswiped by either another truck or a car, someone loses control, like sl swipes along the side of me, or if you know if the driver's careless, not paying attention to where his trailer is and he rubs up against a pole or something and a truck's up, you, you know. If anybody sideswipes me, they're gonna go right along here and they're gonna rip all of these straps off and then my load is not secured and then we got pipe all over the road, right? So, not a big deal at all. Not a big deal, I'm not sure who picked this up, but uh, we'll go easy on them, that's okay. <laughs> so that's one quick thing I can fix on Monday. They're already thrown over, so that's only going to take 10 minutes. Not a big deal. We'll talk about that Monday morning. Let's go to get Old Blue back to the shop. Unfortunately, I won't make it home in time tonight. Uh, my wife's already crawled into bed, gone to bed, and I don't want to disturb her. So I'll be staying with Old Blue tonight. And we'll go home first thing in the morning before Theo wakes up and uh, grab a shower and then I can be there for the weekend. We'll just both get a better night's sleep this way. Otherwise, I go home. The dogs get all riled up, all excited. She wakes up. And Theo might wake up too. The dogs are kind of loud sometimes. <coughs> and I disrupt the whole house. It's too late. I tried to get home. I, I tried to race and be quick. But that's the job. So we'll go home in the morning. So let's go, let's go to the shop. We got Old Blue back to the shop here. All tucked in. Safe and sound. And I wasn't quite tired yet, so I didn't want to go to bed. <laughs> so we reorganized a little bit and made enough room for the pickup to fit in here too. So since we uh, got rid of that mower, did I tell you? My zero turn mower, I sold it. I have a lot more space in here now. Not a lot of space. But usually this pickup truck won't be parked in here. Then I have all of this open, right? So 
So we did some organizing. Anyways, it's time to head home. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Drive safe out there. It was a good week. We'll make next week another good week. I'll see you right here. Don't forget to subscribe.